Hello everyone, today's video is about the mobile installation in one of my cars. Uh, actually, I wanted to share with you the process of the installation, so maybe it could be helpful. I know because I was looking for a long time uh, for any ideas on how to install a mobile in my electric car. And also do the same process for my Jeep and I've been looking for solution for more than a year. But now I found everything, I ordered all of the parts. This will be the object of another video. But for now, let's show you the mobile installation in my cars and uh, hope you enjoy. And please, if you have any comments or questions, go in the comments below and we'll go through the process of the installation. The first step was to find the perfect spot to install the radio and in my car it's in the trunk since the battery is there and I'm gonna put the antenna right there. Also there is enough room to mount it on top here. Since my car is a plug-in hybrid there the, the back seat doesn't fold because there's the lithium battery that it's over there. So I wanted to, to look at the lithium battery before just to make sure it's safe to pass the fish. So I pass the fish right between the seat and the back row and I pull the rope. So I was able to pass my wire from there. Unfortunately, all wires were too short because the radio is too far away to bring the wire in the front seat. Anyway, I pursued with my installation, installing the mobile bracket and I ordered some more wire in the meanwhile. Here's the antenna I choose, it's a SBB1, it's a short antenna, I had this one in the past, worked very good. I wanted to use the mag mount but it didn't fit evenly so I use, I recycled this old bracket that is corroded a little but that's the one that fitted the best on my car. So I dismantle the bracket and start working on it, brushing it to remove the corrosion and it did the turnouts okay. Here's the result, waited till it dry then reassemble the thing. I install also the power wire directly to the battery using shrink to protect to, so there will be no short. You can see the radio and it turns on so the installation is okay for now. I installed the bracket to the correct spot and it's all went well, everything's fine. Now install the coax, as you can see there's a groove here, so it goes on this way. So I install the coax, the only problem is the coax is facing towards, so if it's raining or whatever, there is a, a shrink on the coax, so I wanted to make sure there's no corrosion, so I put some electrical uh, liquid tape on it, you will see that at the end. Then install the antenna, so you need to adjust the bracket, so the antenna will be straight. And that's it. The antenna's installed and it worked perfectly. It doesn't hit the car. There you go. The SWR is okay. It probably may be improved if I add a ground wire to the, the bracket. It's, it's, it's the same in the UHF. Unfortunately, I was unable to uh, show you because my meter doesn't go there. I needed to use another meter. I used some automotive goop to stick the coax cable to run inside you can see it goes into the groove and this the next day was very uh, hard and everything is okay so I use a plastic tool to pass the wire under the trim air always go in the bottom so don't no water will in, will be introduced through the running through the wire then I pass my power cable always use a decent power pole so I can unplug and replug as I wish use some tie wrap and here's the installation and the trunk is done. Now I use this little mount bracket. You will find all the parts links in the comments below. And this is used the seatbelt bolt and it's very, very solid. So when I received the wire, this is what I got, but there was only one problem, okay? This was the correct wire for the mic but uh, it was not the correct wire for the, um, the uh, remote control head. So I needed to use the 
the, 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 the one that comes with the radio and try to make it longer. I needed a better conductor because of wire, telephone wire doesn't, doesn't work, doesn't provide, uh, the voltage is not, is not good enough. So I, I made uh, uh, a wire like this using um, rotator wire, okay? So it's a bigger size and it works. So I test all my cable, test the mic as well. Now that everything works, I can pass the wire again. Here how it goes. Went through the seat like this. See all the wire. So I pass all the wire under the trim. And here's the final result. You can see here the electrical liquid tape that I put on the shrink here to make sure there's no infiltration because it's facing toward. See the goop that dries out, everything is fine as well. Look at this, very, very clean like I like to do things. So if I put something in the trunk, there's no risk to hit the radio. The wire will pass between the seat and the back. And on the side, there's about two inch thick. Okay, the wire goes in and it goes right under the trim, up to the front. And it goes under the seat. It's an electrical seat. Okay, so it moves, so it goes under the rail, that's important. And then go into this trim here, go all around the center console to come out the other side, like this. On the bracket, everything is tie wrap, and you can see that it goes to the radio. There's the final setup. I think it looks very good and it's very solid. The mic goes under the seat as well, and it is tie wrapped to the seat belt buckles so it won't fall in between the seat and it goes into the center console.